And some wintry weather is expected late tonight and early tomorrow. By Tuesday morning, we're looking at cold rain for the morning commute on northwestern counties. So the, the rain and snow will be mixed in, and then we'll get that transition over to a little more snow in our northwestern counties, I think, as we get into Tuesday afternoon and evening. So that's when we're going to see it, and that will continue on into the evening hours. That's the wind. Let's uh, bring in Marielle now to talk about the why we're going to see the air rain and snow as opposed to icy and, and maybe all snow in some areas. Yes, and thankful for that, Greg. Uh, normally, what we see is a transition period. So what we may briefly see that, uh, but what we look at is the temperature from the base of the cloud all the way to the ground. And as of now, it looks like most of the area, like Greg mentioned, will stay above freezing from the base of the cloud all the way down, at least for the most part. It'll still be frozen precip in the cloud, but as it's falling, it's going to melt. And because our temperatures have been warmer, it's going to stay as just cold rain. However, there is a point in time where we see temperatures drop through a majority of our air column from the base of the cloud to the ground where it's either at or very close to that 32 degree mark, which is why we could see some of that snow uh, mixing in. The good news is that whenever we notice an elevated layer of warm air, that's when we start to see these mixes. That's not going to be the case this time around. So we're either going to see a column of snow. We're going to see mostly that cold rain or we'll see a mixture of the two. But luckily, the sleep, the freezing rain, not going to be a factor this time around.